developer mode on Squarespace. It's used for a certain type of advanced changes. After you activate it, you have access to some backend code mainly for templating. I think the documentation could be much, much better and richer. You can access the backend files through Git or SFTP and Git commits are used for updates on the public site. After you activate developer mode, updates on Squarespace will stop on the template. So you have full control without updates from Squarespace. You can choose a template and go in developer mode or you can start from scratch. You can use developer mode on existing templates and see how, uh, how they've added code. You will not be able to switch templates and JSON T, JSON template, is the templating language used on Squarespace. So you will work with that when you want to work with developer mode. They offer a local uh, development server through which you can open the website locally on a local host and see the changes before you push them. And I've added a link to the quick start of their documentation you have informations when you enable how to connect with git with sftp let me show how you activate it you go in settings advanced and developer mode after you activate it it's by default unactive inactive after you activate it you be, you receive these usernames you clone the repository if you use git and uh, this is only available on Squarespace 7.0. So let me update this information. So templates from 7.0 are available. I've already cloned the repository and this is how it looks like it looks like let me recheck that here it is this is how it looks the side that region is like the main file You can see the JavaScript files. Some JavaScript. Templating stuff. And we have like these files template.config, side that region you saw it, blocks collections, scripts, and styles. Here we have informations. They start with the basics, template files, template language, Squarespace tags, JavaScript, advanced. Here's the local development that I've talked about. Install the server, clone the repository, and start a development server with it. But I think they could have done a much better job with with the tutorials. They can could add much more rich information about the development because it's a powerful tool. You can start it from scratch and develop custom templates 
like really from scratch or even when you edit other templates they could describe they can they can add much more information about the JSON T and how they use their features I think the, like from a few years ago it's the same documentation and they haven't implemented developer mode in 7.1 so I'm not sure how they what's the future for developer mode are they going to continue with some some something like that to allow us much more advanced changes on the back end or they'll stick to their user interface and make changes from there thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it hit the like button if you have subscribe to more videos and have a great day bye bye